Almost 70 years ago, several scientists and military officers, along with the United States Atomic Energy Commission and the Department of Defense, detonated America's first hydrogen weapon on the Bikini Atoll in the South Pacific. Codenamed Castle Bravo, the explosion was the first in a series of tests for nuclear weapon research. Only a second after the Bravo detonation, a 4.5-mile fireball erupted, followed by an enormous mushroom cloud that reached 47,000 feet in a single minute, and it was all captured on a video that shook the world. While the spectacle was a sight to behold, the scientists and the many observers immediately knew that something had gone spectacularly wrong. The sizable explosion was not part of the plan. Detonation. On the morning of March 1st, 1954, America's first weaponized hydrogen bomb was detonated upon an artificial island in Bikini Atoll while mounted on a shot cab. Codenamed Castle Bravo and led by the United States Atomic Energy Commission and the Department of Defense, the test took place at 6.45 a.m. local time over the Pacific Ocean, with streams of blinding bright light shining through even the smallest of cracks in highly secured doors. The subsequent shockwave destroyed everything in the calculated damage zone, including the obliteration of three islands on the atoll. In a first-hand account of the explosion, Oishi Matashichi, a fisherman aboard the Japanese freighter the Lucky Dragon No. 5, said, quote, A yellow flash poured through the porthole. Wondering what had happened, I jumped up from the bunk near the door, ran out on deck, and was astonished. Bridge, sky, and sea burst into view, painted in flaming sunset colors. I looked around in a daze. I was totally at a loss. Then came the fireball. An array of diagnostic instruments had been installed to capture the moment, including high-speed cameras trained through an arc of mirror towers around the shot cab. Available in video reel, the apocalyptic footage shows how the Castle Bravo fireball rose at a thousand feet per second. Seconds after the detonation, a mushroom cloud rose at 130,000 feet above sea level, then spread out over a 25-mile diameter area in less than 20 minutes. Operation Castle Bikini Atoll, a small island chain located 1,800 miles from Papua New Guinea and part of the Marshall Islands, had been free of conflict for centuries. There, in the midst of the Pacific Ocean, its small native population lived in harmony and off the land. However, during World War II, the United States took over the Coral Island administration, and because of the area's remote location, the atoll became one of the most convenient spots in the world to carry out nuclear tests. In February of 1946, the island's American representative asked the locals to temporarily relocate, and the natives agreed, hoping to return to their beloved home soon. Several nuclear tests began that same year as part of Operation Crossroads, but the program was terminated after one of the detonations in the series caused a 94-foot tsunami and several damages. The second series of tests, codenamed Operation Castle, began in 1954 and sought to validate the technology behind new, airdropped, high-yield thermonuclear weapons. The first planned detonation had one particular purpose, to test America's first hydrogen bomb, small enough to be transported anywhere in the world, but powerful enough to wipe out entire cities. The Castle Bravo bomb relied on lithium deuteride as its fuel, a solid and lightweight substance at room temperature. The scientists estimated that the device would have a total yield of 5 megatons, and all safety precautions, including the placement of observation points and the exclusion zone, were based on that calculation. Still, during the planning, manufacturing, and assembly of the Castle Bravo bomb, many experts secretly speculated that the explosion could rise above its overestimated power, and this led to the placement of extra explosive yield at 20%. Ultimately, the planned outcome proved to be a wild underestimation, and Bikini Atoll would suffer the consequences for years to come. The Reality The Castle Bravo test bomb's yield was three times greater than initially estimated due to an oversight during the design process. To put it in perspective, the explosion was roughly a thousand times more powerful than the nuclear weapons dropped on top of Japan at the end of World War II. 
As such, Castle Bravo became the worst radiological disaster in American atomic testing history. After footage showing the explosion was released by news stations across the world, shocked civilians watched as the giant mushroom overtook the small island in the Pacific Ocean. The British Broadcasting Company's report on the video's aftermath stated, quote, The 15 megaton bomb delivered a force far more powerful than expected. One of the atolls has been totally vaporized, disappearing into a giant mushroom cloud that spread at least 100 miles wide and dropping back to the sea in the form of radioactive fallout. It destroyed one island and left a crater 175 feet deep. What's more, while original meteorological forecasts predicted that the winds would blow the radioactive fallout away from populated areas, Castle Bravo did just the opposite. The wind actually blew some of the 15 megaton radioactive fallout over 7,000 square miles, some of which were inhabited. Hours later, the Marshallese natives of the nearby Rungalap and Elingane atolls unsuspectingly handled the fallout with their bare hands. International Ramifications As the wind continued to spread the fallout from Bravo, nuclear debris made up of crushed coral, salt water, and radioactive particles rained down onto ships and their unsuspecting crews in the vicinity. Upon the horrible realization, some captains ordered their sailors to go below deck with sealed doors for days on end to avoid contamination. Japanese fishing boat Fukuryu Maru was one of the affected vessels, and her 23-man crew was exposed to radiation, leading to one casualty. The Castle Bravo explosion caused international outrage, including a diplomatic crisis between the United States and Japan. In an attempt to reduce the exposure, the United States Navy expanded the exclusion zone to cover five megatons of fallout. However, this extension ended up causing critical problems for the Japanese fishing industry, and the United States agreed to pay over $15 million in compensation to the Fukuryu Maru survivors. After admitting to the world the results of a successful H-bomb test, the experiment inspired the Soviets to build an equivalent one. Furthermore, the Castle Bravo explosion was not the last test to be performed in the remote Bikini Atoll. From 1946 to 1958, the United States government carried out 67 atmospheric tests in the area. Then, in 1963, the United States signed the Limited Test Ban Treaty, which prohibited atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons. Long-Term Effects the Marshall Islanders affected by the fallout from the Castle Bravo explosion have experienced numerous health problems decades after the event, as the exiled natives that evacuated the contaminated islands eventually returned. However, the moment was short-lived, and the Islanders had to evacuate once more due to lingering nuclear concerns. After the accidentally enormous Castle Bravo explosions, scientists around the world conceded just how dangerous nuclear weapons can be and how delicately they have to be managed, considering the lingering effects of high-energy radiation. To this day, the 1954 Castle Bravo peacetime test carried out on Bikini Atoll is still the largest nuclear detonation ever performed by the United States of America, as well as the fifth largest nuclear explosion in history. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. Please share this video with someone who might like it, and for more historical and military content, subscribe to this and all the channels in our Dark Documentaries family, where we constantly publish new videos. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and stay tuned for more.